Hello guys, welcome back to the Code City. And here, as you can see, we have a title bar and we are going to remove that. So we'll discuss three methods. First one, programmatically. Let's just, so before this set content view, keep in mind, this has to be before this set content view. Otherwise you'll get an error. What you need to do is you need to request something. You need to request a window feature. All right. This is a window feature. So what we do is we need to request a request. What is it? Request window feature or window feature request? Okay. So if you are confused, what you can do is you can just go to the code city here. I've already written the blog post. And as you can see here, it's request window feature itself. Why was I not getting it before? And the feature ID is, if you can type pull, window dot feature no title. All right, so we need to request this feature first. You can just copy this from here. And then once you have it, what you do is you just get the support action bar and then hide it. Now, keep in mind this up, you might not have the support action bar if you are using plain old activity. All right, as you can see, if you write activity, this goes away. So, but I'm using app compat activity. But yeah, if you are using activity, if you're not using a support library, you can just directly use get action bar or hide. All right. That is if you're not using a support library, but I am. So I'll use app compat activity and then I'll use get support action bar dot hide. All right, let's run this. Now, uh, while this is running, what we can do is um, this will just hide the support action bar in one activity as in just this activity no bar. If you have multiple activities, as you can see here, this is gone now. Now, if you have multiple activities and you want to hide this in all those activities, what you can do is you can just go to your manifest and in your application, you can just write a theme. Now, as you can see, this theme is theme.tn examples. So what I can do is I can directly, what I can do is I can directly, uh, I can directly have a no action bar theme here right but uh, what it will do is it will override all the, everything else that i had before so what i can do is in my tiny examples theme this is automatically created you will also have an automatically created theme so you can also just hold control and click on this thing right see you can see where this theme is so what you can do is there are two themes these are automatically created these days a night theme and a day theme what we can do is instead of dark action bar we can just go no action bar all right and now this theme the examples theme is already applied here uh, already applied here and now what we have done is we have just changed this to no action bar and all the other styles that we have are already there we don't change we didn't change that so what we can do is we can just comment these two things also let's run this again let's see what happens now there's one more way that we'll discuss and as you can see there is no action bar here all right now this is coming dark because we have two themes here All right, if we can change the other one and right now the other one is being used uh, this night one what we can do is we can just go no action bar here also and let's run this or I'm not sure guys <laughs> I'm not sure about this because I don't usually use the default theme but it is bad black anyway. Anyway, this one should be used at night. So we can just delete this also. Let's just remove that. All right. We want to make it light. We can just go. App compat dot light dot no action bar.
and now the theme will not be dark it will be light as you can see here okay so now the last method now what we did is uh, we added this theme here itself right we made what did we make in our theme itself what did we create we created a no action bar parent now instead of that what we can do is in just one of our activity we can have theme no action bar and this will make just this activity not having the action bar kind of like this all right so you can use any way you want you can use it in this programmatically in your java file in manifest file in application or in manifest file in your activity peace out